Welcome to TechPax, your partner in advanced research and development. In this video, we will be presenting the details about one of the most demanding research projects titled Enhanced Routing in Mobile Ad Hoc Networks, introducing the Random Waypoint Mobility Model. This research project can be extended further to publish a research paper in a reputed journal or used for your PhD or MTech thesis. So, if you are a researcher, PhD, or MTech research scholar working on a similar research project and need expert guidance to handle the complexities of research in this field, you're in the right place. Watch this video till the end to gain valuable insights into the project's objectives, methodology, and results. We'll also provide a demo of the code in action, showcasing its key features and functionalities. So, let's begin. Our professional researcher will now take the lead and guide you through the details. Here we go. Hello friends, welcome to TechPacks Research and Innovation Services. Today I'm here to present you one of the applications that we have designed in the domain of the wireless network communication by using the optimization algorithm. Uh, this is related to the mobile networks, mobile ad hoc networks. So uh, let's move to the video. Before moving to the video, let's talk about that what we will cover into it. In this particular video, we will initially talk about the application areas, then we will talk about uh, the code, how to execute, which file you need to run, what are the software requirements and the library requirements for it. Then we will talk about what were the current systems so those working in the same domain and the problems identified on them, and finally what we have proposed in the method and developed in the video. Then final experimental outcomes and findings will be analyzed. So let's talk about the application area. As I already told, that system is designed for the mobile ad hoc networks, which is under the wireless communication. So it is not restricted to any single domain. So for the, any industrial communication, for the smart agriculture, smart buildings, intelligent transportation, for the biomedical domains, for the uh, EVs, vehicles, uh, where the communication among the vehicles is to be done, which is also known as VANets, MANets, or uh, ad hoc networks, right? So other than that, in the domain of the computers for the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, aerospace communication, GPS, uh, the wireless communication technology is everywhere. So uh, the design protocol is basically a routing protocol which is forming a route from one point to another by using the certain parameters. So now let's have to look to the code. So in order to run the code, you will get this folder under which all the files for the code have been placed. You just need to copy the path and then you must have the metal software installed on your system the metal version that i'm using is r2019 so you can use 2015 or the above version so currently i'm demonstrating in r2019 a make sure it should be a full version not the uh, trial one so to run the code go to the folder where the whole code is placed just copy the path and then go to the metal and just paste it here press enter now you have the different files in it so out of which you just need to run the main mobility vary main node vary and main node vary delay right so these are the three files and finally a comparison has been done under the file name that is r analysis right so to run the code you just need to click one of the file and then click on the run button so it will start executing the code. It will show you the vectors, uh, how much mobility you need to use because we have done for the different scenario. Let's say I'm entering it here five. So I will press enter. Let me see if I've known. Yeah, so press enter. You can see it will take the mobility as the input and on that behalf, it will process the information. Now it will ask which node you want to uh, get as a transmitter let's say i'm choosing 22 as a transmitter and uh, 25 as a receiver so 22 and 25 press enter you can see it will process by using the optimization algorithm and will give you the route from that particular node to the destination node so if particular uh, neighbor is not found within the range as you can see uh, this node is far away from other nodes and not effective node so it is giving you this error dialog box so i'm running it again mobility is again five this time let's see which node can be transmitter which can be receiver 890 so 890 press enter So overhead we got is this and PTR value is this, delay is this. Now running uh, the other scenario. So before moving to that, let's talk about that what exactly the work was. 
We have chosen this paper as a base paper under which they have implemented the technique of the fuzzy logics with the uh, multi constraint in order to form the root. So they were considering the few parameters. Those parameters were uh, delay, bandwidth, and energy only. So one of the problems that we have identified is uh, all these three parameters are not enough. Other than that, there are certain other factors. Those are important in deciding the node uh, to be the uh, next hope. Secondly, if the parameters are going to be increased, obviously fuzzy will not be effective enough to handle that load. So we need to replace it. So what we have done, we have uh, replaced it with the differential evolution optimization algorithm, which is selecting the best root on the parameters that we have decided. The parameters that we are using for evaluating, we are adding two more factors. Those factors are, let me show you. Those factors are basically uh, the distance, the energy, uh, the average distance with uh, within the range and the throughput so five of the factor we are using uh, so when I'm running the code you can see uh, in the same paper they have run the whole scenario for the different scenario where they are uh, varying the mobility uh, in the second of scenario they are changing the number of nodes in third of the scenario they are ch changing the delay factor so uh, by using those factors we have created three codes in which and yes you can see initially the area nodes and the locations are given uh, they are plotted the energy model is implemented because energy is there random movement point is used for the mobility mobility is generated then drop rate energy and throughput we are generating randomly and on that behalf we are calculating the distances of all node with respect to another and on that behalf energy consumption is also calculated then we are making a table for all the information in the network then source and destination node is taken and finally uh, while the source becomes the destination it means when the uh, next hope is the destination one until that the loop will be run and the uh, it will find the best node so that node will be selected by the differential or evolutionary algorithm under which the fitness is evaluated the cost function that we have kept is weightage given to 1 by distance plus delay plus weightage into energy into bandwidth so parameter is being increased so on that we have whatever the best uh, node will be selected that will be added to the root and final root has been placed and the results has been analyzed in terms of different factors that i've already shown that pdr delay and overheads in the second scenario we are just changing the node number as per the base paper so we are getting the input from the user and getting the nodes and thirdly we are changing the delay factor so you can see the number of nodes are varying as well as we are getting uh, the delay factor variation among the outcome so finally when all these three codes has been run you can see at the end we have saved the results for all the three scenarios and for doing the analysis part and comparison with the base paper we take the results directly and compare them uh, by defining them here you can see so when i run this file it will get the results of the proposed one and show in the tabular as well as in the graphical form so the graphical results are basically let me show you this is the control overheads by the change in the mobility of the tradition and the proposed method here the proposed method is the de based mmrp similarly this is the individual hours result only this is packet delivery ratio of packet delivery delay of hours this is the comparison so you can see our delay is less similarly this is the delay it is less with respect to mobility similarly this is uh, the packet delivery ratio uh, with respect to mobility so in our case it is higher nearer to 100 so this is the graph of our packet delivery ratio finally this is by changing the number of nodes for the pdf so in all the scenarios the proposed system is effectively showing the results and you can also see the results down there in the tabular form so further modifications are still possible into it for that you can contact us directly and can get the information thank you thanks for watching the video thank you for watching this video we hope you found it informative and engaging for more information about this research project and to get our consultancy services, click the link in the description below. At TechPax, we offer comprehensive support for researchers, PhD, and MTech students in the fields of engineering and ICT. Our services include Selection of research topic Helping you choose the right topic tailored to your interests and the latest trends. Synopsis preparation Crafting a clear and concise synopsis with well-defined objectives. Coding assistance, 
providing expert help with writing and optimizing code in various tools and platforms. Research paper writing, assisting in drafting and editing research papers to meet the highest academic standards. Dissertation writing, offering complete support for your dissertation, ensuring consistency and quality. Plagiarism check and removal, ensuring your work is original and free from plagiarism with advanced detection tools. We also offer customization services to meet your specific project needs. Whether you require a modification of an existing project or a completely new application, our team of experts is here to help. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on cutting-edge research projects and expert advice. Thank you for choosing TechPacks. We look forward to collaborating with you on your research journey.